Hello, I'm Derek Doran, and today I'm going to read and review my poem, The Song of the Whale. The Song of the Whale Discarded petals and paper packets dress the leaves that the spider plant spun. All hail the painting on the paperback jacket, its Rembrandt's return of the prodigal son. This lyrical life is strangely inferior and embraces all that I've loathed, but the truth beneath my naked exterior is I've always remained fully clothed. Listen in trust to the song of the whale, though you may not be that type of poet. We all supped in unison from the Holy Grail but not all of us were given to show it. Cosmic microwave background hiss to the dance of the four-leaf clover. I can see some people are on the piss because they think the pandemic's all over. Prophets have said not to have such concerns, yet it's clear we've never understood. We can't take our poverty with us, though we seem to wish that we could. This is a more recent poem taken from my second collection, Wasp in My Cockpit, details below. It has a very simple five stanza structure of four lines per stanza with an alternate rhyming pattern. And the inspiration of the poem is rooted in this notion that some indigenous tribes have of the existence in the astral plane of something called the Akashic records. These records are said to hold a record of, of every thought, deed and word um, performed by, uh, by everyone who's ever lived. And uh, they can be accessed through targeted meditation. In the early 20th century, Rudolf Steiner's movement um, had the Akashic records at the, the core of their teachings. While I was researching this, I discovered that some people believe that the whale is the earthly keeper of the Akashic records. I'm not quite sure how that works, but that formed the, the basis for, for the, uh, the poem, for the title. That was the starting off point. Um, some of my references are a little more prosaic. Um, I have here uh, a book I was reading at the time, The Return of the Prodigal Son, with Rembrandt's famous painting on the cover. So that found its way, that found its way um, into the poem. That book details the author's spiritual journey. Um, and the painting, Rembrandt's painting became very important to him. He spent hours sitting in front of it in St. Petersburg. And um, I, in the second stanza, I make the admission that my own, uh, my own failings, my own spiritual search has kind of been uh, faked and masked to some extent. Um, and I've, rem you know, I, I've remained more closed off than, uh, than I've kind of tried to acknowledge. And uh, finally, you know, it may seem that too many people in this world are preoccupied with amassing wealth and stuff and things. Um, and really, I think it's probably more the case that people fear poverty. Um, but wealth and poverty are both things that we won't be taking into an afterlife, should there be such a thing. Okay, folks, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the Song of the Whale. If you did, please like and subscribe and stick around for the next one. And I will see you soon. Take care.